Yo, check it out. It's your boy X to the Z Exhibit broadcasting live on our station, on our website. One represents the coast, Dub CNN. What's up, Nima? Good to see you, What's man. Up? Nice to see you. We back again on Dev CNN to talk Hell about yeah. the new album finally coming out. Napalm, a couple of days left. Yeah. I mean, first of all, I want to thank you for taking such a, you know, heartfelt approach to reporting and, and representing for the West Coast. You know what I'm saying? That. And, and really like standing up and, and being a good representative representation of what we do out here. You know, um, it feels good to be able to come with an album this strong. You know, first of all, it's been a minute since I dropped one. Man. And, uh, you know, to come back to such fanfare and everybody supporting the music and just giving it a, a, a real shot, a real opportunity to listen to the growth. In the and I mean, at, at this point, you know, it's safe to call you a veteran. You know, you've been in the game for a long right. time. Thank you. And do you get nostalgic when you, like, think about now you're the big homie, you know, look, looking, look, you got people looking up to you, looking up to your career? And it's like you're you're not done, but you've already accomplished a lot. You get nostalgic yeah. when you look back. No, I mean, I, when I look when I look at it, I just feel like you know I've accomplished you know some some milestones. But I by no means feel like I'm finished. You know, I feel like you know Napalm is a good step in the right direction. Um, it is a very strong debut. It is definitely going to turn some heads, and then. You know, the one-two punch, you know, I, I got to come follow it up with something stronger. And uh, I think that's the main goal. You know, I'm, I'm very uh, invested in my career. I've made a lot of changes, made a lot of improvements, um, changed my circle, changed my surroundings, uh, became really focused. You know, I thought I was focused before, but, you know, after some, you know, dedication and some time, you know, right. I, I really feel where I'm, where, you know, I'm, I'm at a, at an optimum performance right now. I feel like I can, you know, put my mind to something and achieve it without even, you know, being distracted. You know, it's just a very, it's a better place that I'm in now. So this album is a reflection of that. And I mean, you, your your live show has always been a very important part of, you know, your your whole career. And, right. you know, you, you tour constantly overseas. Back, And I've yeah. seen you bring a lot of artists on tour with you over the years, you know, from the Defar Eyes to Cronline, and now you've been uh, riding with Young D. Demerick for the last couple of years. What, what made you stick with him as far as keeping him as a part of your, your live show? I mean, I, I like rocking with, with people that are, you know, like-minded. I like people that are, you know, as dedicated as I am, you know, that really want to come in. And like you said, the live show was really important, you know. Um, I made it hard for people with number one records that come on after me, you know. <laughs> I made it difficult, so I don't. I don't really see, you know, the, you know, you level the playing field when you get out on the stage. Right. You know, if you can do a live show, you can kick anybody's ass, and I think that's where, you know, we get down. <laughs> Play, man, we get in, we get in, and you know, we know that the crowd wants to come see a hip hop show, and that's what we do. So, I'm never too cool or too swagged out to fucking do a, a great show, you know what I'm saying? That's what it's about. That's what's up. And you know, you've got a lot of great collaborations on, on this record. I was looking at the track listing, and um, you know, you got a couple of people on there twice, like I saw Games on there twice, Be Real's on there twice. Um, how, how, how was that process? Because I know you've been working for a couple years on a project. Did you sit down and map out the album and the features, or is it just mm -hmm. something that crea was created organically? No, no, no. It was created organically. Like, the music spoke for the features. You know, once I started the records, I would bring, you know, the people in that I felt like they, they needed to be on the record, like they sounded like they were on the record. Right. And I kept the, the really creative how the features are. It don't, it's not just just because they're on the song, 
they may not be doing no rapping whatsoever. You know, it's yeah. like Wiz sung some shit, then he did a verse on some shit, then Game did a hook on some, and then he did a verse on some. Like, it's different. It's not like he just did a verse and a verse, and then every saw struck. It's structured very uniquely, and I'm, you know, glad that the circle of people that I did get on the record, like, it sounds consistent, and it sounds like one body of work, you know? And how was it to get King T, the licks, and yourself together <laughs> on the Dre track? All right, man, that was like Christmas, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? First, you got to get the track. Let me tell you the process. <laughs> First, you got to get the track, all right? And I ain't talking about just him giving you the beat. Dr. Dre got to give you the beat. And the paperwork with a signature on it, and he got to give you the files. <laughs> and he's got to let you keep it. Yeah. <laughs> he's got to let you get the files. Once I saw Rob come in the studio with the hard drives, I knew I was in. <laughs> I was in there. I mean, we've seen yeah. a lot of Dre tracks on albums. Yeah, yeah, tracks yeah, yeah. Get Dre tracks. tracks. Yeah. 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 It ain't what you expect. <laughs> Well, yo, uh, the big hall, I got a lot of respect for Dr. Dre, first of all. He is one of my mentors. He is someone I look up to. He is someone I always confided in when it comes to this music shit. And, and in personal shit, too, man. I consider him a friend. So when it came to doing this record, you know what I'm saying, uh, he gave me the beat and, you know, said if I could do something with it, you know, I, I, I brought the beat up in the studio. And then we got down with the, you know, King T and the Alcoholics. And I was like, you know, we got to do this, you know, and, and, and submit it to Dre and see if we can, you know, if we can make this happen. So, you know, all the things fell into place, you know what I'm saying, Dr. Dre blessed the track, you know what I'm saying? And man, it was good to get Alcoholics and King T in the studio one time. Just, I mean, I don't think we've ever done a whole record like that That's together. what I'm saying, yeah, I don't you know remember. what I'm saying? So That's for everybody to be all, all on the same track and to be under the banner, of, of my album, I mean, I, it's, it's it's like coming home. It's like a, it's, it's a good one. You all, you're also known for doing heartfelt tracks. Like I, I feel like "Thank You" on the last album was a standout track. Right. Is there something on this album that you would compare it to? Something like "Thank You." Well, I mean, it's in the same family, but it's nothing like "Thank You," and that's 1983. I've, the people that have heard it, yeah. I've heard that they've been talking about that record. Yeah, I think. With 1983, um, you get to hear it from me. You know what I'm saying? Like people talk for me and talk about me and talk around me, <laughs> but they don't ever hear it from me. So, you know, when 1983 came together, it was an opportunity for me to bear a little bit of my soul and myself and what I'm, you know, my thought process. You know, my uncle gave me a cassette tape with my mother's voice on it because the 1983 features my mom and she passed in 83 and you know I haven't had any contact or had any you know memories of her outside of pictures so my uncle gave me a cassette tape with her voice right and it was like an hour and a half of her just talking and she was talking about a book of poetry that she wrote and how she wanted the book reading to go and so I took excerpts of this cassette tape and and, and, and made it like it made it part of the track. So it sounds like I'm talking to her. So man, it was crazy. You know, the family's always been real important to you. You had a record called Sorry I'm Away So Much on Restless talking about, you know, your son. How in the past couple of years, how close have you been with your family and how has your career changed? That's what it's that? that's what it's been about. You know what I'm saying? After Xavier Kingston passed away, I went and uh, really like, you know, focused on them. You know what I'm saying? I, I travel a lot. So when I travel, you know what I'm saying, it's like I, I'm doing it in the, the, the light of taking care of them. You know what I'm saying? So when things don't sit right, if things aren't right at home, then I can't realistically come out here and be like, you know, I'm 100%, I'm you know what I'm saying, when I know that it's not really that way at home. So the time that I took to really make sure, you know, that Trey and Gatlin are good, you know what I'm saying, that, that all these things are in place, you know what I'm saying, because that's what really matters, that's what's really important, you know, so yeah, it took me a, it took me a little time to get, get that straight, on top of some other things, you know, it takes time to really sit down with the pens and pencils and reorganize all this shit, you know, so family was important, personal shit was, 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 was neither here nor there, 
but sometimes you just got to disconnect from that shit. Right. And just, you know what, let me just make sure that I'm running this at 100%, the best to, to my ability. And then when I felt that was, that was the way it is, you know, that's when I stepped back in and produced this record. You know, you're a certified West Coast veteran, legend of the game. Thank you, man. Um, looking at current artists coming up, yeah. who, who are you admiring? Like, who, who do you hear like, that's fresh? I like that. Man, I, I feel... Uh, I feel like the, uh, the the TDE camp is definitely doing doing a lot. You know, I know Dom Kennedy, the rest of those guys are doing uh, doing a lot. Um, uh, I'm, I'm fucking with Slim the Mobster. Um, you know, I got peoples all up and down the coast, though. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I just think that um, you know, the more music that they put out, and the more they find their direction. You know, it, I don't really think look at it no. No new west or no old west. Oh yeah, no, I think, I like, think it's just west. You know what I'm saying? That's the yeah. thing. Is west. That's west. it. And and you know, like they don't say the new Lakers. Right. You know what I'm saying, nigga? You just on the Lakers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, you may be new, but the the, 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 the banner stays the same. You know. So you know, I, I feel like that's what it is, man. I'm I I don't, I don't feel like I'm. You know anybody to be choosing who's dope and who's not? I still like feel like I'm I'm competing. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. So let me let me let me spread my wings a little bit and see what's happening. <laughs> cool, man. You know I never asked you this personally, but I always read on the internet people say that you you would get mad when you would see those memes on the internet where they would put your face <laughs> with your dog, where they would like do the little yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you laugh at that shit or is it does it get like I mean annoyed? it's it's it, it, I mean, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know. I don't know how it started. They, I think, they really get me confused with Randy, the dude from uh, from uh, American Idol. Right. He always say, "Yo, dog." <laughs> yeah, I, I've true. never even said that in my life. I'm that's like, the well, internet for you. Who's, who did that? I saw one that said, "How many exhibits could exhibit exhibit if exhibit could yeah. exhibit exhibit?" Yeah, <laughs> so. except one. <laughs> <laughs> Just one. Okay, well, shit, we ain't gonna keep you here forever. We got a show good. to do. Thanks. Album's dropping. Yes, sir. October 9th. 9. All yes, right. Me, Paul. October 9th. Listen, yo. What's the need of the life? What's the need of the life? Man, I don't know. I don't know. Because all I know is when I.